Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com and right now you are flying along with me inside of an Eclipse 500. And in this video lesson, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about making that transition from a piston to a turbine aircraft. And one of the first things you're going to notice is the speed. The whole purpose we transition to a turbine powered aircraft is simply for that speed. Now speed can be a huge benefit. It can also be a pilot's worst enemy sometimes when it comes to falling behind the aircraft. That's why all turbine aircraft, and I'm talking whether it is a true jet or a turboprop aircraft, require additional training from a high altitude standpoint, from the aircraft system standpoint, there's so much to go over. So you require that additional training. But I'll tell you, that flight took, I think about 45 minutes to get us back. Now, it took me four hours to get to where we were going um, in the Piper Archer, that five Bravo mic, the other videos you guys may have seen up there. So talking about speed, it was, huge just flying the aircraft i mean you really have to be able to fly that airplane as if it were second nature um because there's so much going on and it's all happening so fast and that's why go into these special classes and, and it's more than just for insurance sake i mean it is uh in most cases a type rating and these things you guys have to knock out so for those of you guys that aspire to transition to jet aircraft, just something extra to think about. And for those of you that already may fly for a, uh, a charter company or fly a turboprop or jet aircraft, leave me your comments. What was making that transition like for you guys? How difficult was it? Um, what are some hurdles that you had to overcome uh, when transitioning to turbine aircraft? I had a real blast on this flight. The Eclipse 500 is an awesome awesome airplane it is um it's a little it's a little tiny for a six foot go uh six foot four guy like me to get up in that cockpit but um it was an awesome awesome time so hey that's all i have for you guys this week again leave me um your comments below and you know you'll get a response from me if you're on m0a.com doing that and most importantly remember that a good pilot is always learning have a great day guys see ya